Hi, honey. Hey. How are you doing? Good, good. Uh, there's a lot of different things on the album. Head in the Dirt, nice cover, by the way. Oh, thanks. How do you process? For me, like, you know, all the songs kind of start out on the guitar, and they're allowed to take shape and and take new new forms when I get into the studio. And you know, songs like um, Low, or even Nobody Move, or whatever, the idea of them are the same, but they're so far from where it was. And that's good, I think it's important for myself to keep an open mind in the studio. Yeah, the sound of the drum is very important on the album. It sounds very like hip hop. Yeah, I think that had a lot to do with the playing and a lot to do with the mix of it. Yeah. It was really important. Chad Blake, the guy who mixed the record, I think, fully understood it. Yeah. Um, he's worked with Dan plenty of times in the past, so he understands the importance of, of the, the drums being up front. You've opened for uh, Johnny Hallyday yeah. in June. How was it? So that was cool. That was uh, cool. It was a really cool experience, yeah. you know. A very unique experience. I think that was one of the tougher crowds that yeah. I played in. Front Would you rather play for big crowds or in small club? With um, it depends on the scenario. I think that if you if you have the crowd in the palm of your hands, like some of these, the mega bands, I think at that level you can connect with them. Otherwise, if you're like me, where half of the crowd knows you and maybe the other half kind of maybe heard of you, mm. that is a struggle to win them over. I mean, it's it's interesting yeah. to do. It's it's fun to play. Everything's cool. But um, you're very aware of the fact that like um, the crowd may not be with you. Um, I think the perfect, perfect size for me is in the realm of like a thousand to like fifteen hundred people. Those like old school theaters. Yeah. Last question, if we are on a desert island yeah. and you could take one album, let's say two. Weirdly, I think I would just take these two albums that I listen to all the time when I don't really want to concentrate on the music. I'd probably bring like J.J. Kale, Troubadour. Yes. And then I'd bring like, you know, John Coltrane, Blue Train. Annie, thank you very much yeah. and see you on stage tonight. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.